Here's how to get started with presets in Equator. Equator is a powerful sound engine designed to make full use of the expressive capabilities of the Seaboard Rise and Blocks. In the synth panel, you have access to two sample playback modules, three wavetable oscillators, three operator FM synthesis with four algorithms, a noise generator, five filters, and six audio effects. Let's start by selecting a preset. In the preset browser, you can locate and choose presets based on their tags. In this case, select the bright, analog, and bass tags to narrow the list of available sounds. For this example, let's load Classic Acid Bass by double-clicking on the name. Equator has a modular layout. You can see which modules are active in a preset by looking at the module's color. In the synth panel, we can see that the Classic Acid Bass is created using three oscillators, the FM module, and two filters. It also uses the bit crusher, distortion, and delay effects. In the modulation panel, there are real-time visualizations of the five dimensions of touch that correspond to your movements on the playing surface. For example, if we glide left or right on the seaboard, the glide curve will provide visual feedback. Classic Acid Bass already has the strike, glide, slide, press, and lift gestures mapped. To see what each dimension is mapped to, click on one of the five dimensions and all of the modulated parameters will highlight in yellow. If we click on slide, we can see that slide is controlling the cutoff frequency and resonance of filter 1, as well as the level of envelope 2. If you click on press, we can see that it's controlling the level of envelope 2, as well as the drive and blend parameters of the bit crusher. This preset uses two envelopes. Again, just by clicking on the first envelope, we know that it controls the level of oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. The second envelope controls the filter cutoff frequency of these two filters, as shown by the yellow regions. In this case, because key tracking is mapped to the levels of the three oscillators, we can see that the levels of the oscillators are loudest from the lowest note up to around C5, and then the levels start to decrease for higher notes. Now let's load a different preset. This time, deselect all of the tags and use the search bar to look for Chroma Pluck Loop, and double click on it. As we can see, this preset is more complex than Classic Acid Bass. In addition to the three oscillators with frequency modulation, it also uses two samples and the noise generator. Additionally, in the modulation panel, we can see that an LFO is activated, as well as four envelopes. Now let's give it a go and see how it sounds. Equator gives you access to a wide library of expressive sounds. As we've seen, by exploring the interface, you can understand how each sound is created. And by examining the five dimensions of touch displays, you can see how your physical movements will affect the sound. In the next video, we will create our own sound. For now, Enjoy exploring all of the expressive presets available to you in Equator.